Hi, beauties and curls. Welcome back for another video. It is Melissa Q. We are going to do a chit chat. Get ready with me on this look. I did like zhuzh up my hair. I used some new products and um, I mostly use not really new products to it's new products that you guys have not seen me use but I show you like things that I'm swapping out and there's some things that I am t declaring for my collection I'll tell you that I'm swapping it out there are some new things that I am like kind of like show and telling on my on this video and yeah don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new smash it and hit the notification bell it's going to let you know that I post videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday and don't forget to check me out on my other social media platforms Instagram Twitter and Snapchat I am actually Active on all of those but in terms of questions I do go to my YouTube community ask you guys I do a lot of polls there and on Twitter you guys are amazing so yeah let's just jump right into the video let's chat y'all I got some cat ears that I'm going to use to do my makeup I am so excited about these oh this is so cute got them from five below yeah I don't even know if Five Below is online, but anyway, yes, we're going to use Cat Ears today. Okay, so let's start off with skincare. Oh, one of the first things is that, y'all, my project pans. So it's going to be back and forth, things that I'm doing, updates, and talking about like current videos and then videos to come. I think I'm going, I'm ready to declutter the NYX palette and I am moving on to the Koki. This is the powder contour palette. I got this from Generation Beauty LA. Love it. Reminds me a lot, a lot, a lot of the Kat Von D Shade and Light. Great mirror. That's why brands cannot tell me that they can't put a mirror. This is like a Walmart, okay? And it has a mirror. Stop playing us. So, I'm using this brand called Sonage. You'll see a lot more of me reviewing skincare, a lot of skincare on my brand. I mean, on my brand. Well, it is my brand, but on my channel. So, I'm today I'm going to use their SPF, but they also have a vitamin C serum I'm going to want to use. I think I talked about this in my favorites video. So good. No, I don't want to use that today. I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use my It Cosmetics. Well, if I use my It Cosmetics, I don't have to really put anything on my face because that's the problem that I had with that. So I'll hold off on that and use something else. Okay. I really, I really want to use the Sonic. I'm just trying to find the other serum. Come on. Come on, now. Okay, yeah. The vitamin C serum. I'm going to use. This is a brand that you're going to see in June. I'm going to do kind of like something with it where. Talk about like the proper steps of like skincare. And what you should be using and what. Because sometimes... We don't know what to use on our skin to improve it. So, because there's, there's so many different serums out there. There's so many different, um, there's so many different serums. There's so many different products out there. And, you know, if you don't use it, this is their SPF 30. It's their, let's see, natural SPF. I think a lot of you guys are going to like this brand just because it's a lot of natural ingredients. They're cruelty free and vegan and they're not as expensive. It's a pretty price. You know, when you go into natural products because it's the purest form, just know that you're probably going to pay some money. This is the Botanica Souffle. I like to take the SPF a lot of times. Really, SPF should be the last thing that you put on your face if you're going to put it by itself. But a lot of times, to save time, I will mix products. So, and the packaging is really nice. But 
that's a whole nother video. I think I'm ready to declutter the contour palette. I'm actually ready to de declutter the Lorac Pro. Let me show y'all how far I've gotten into it because I think the next time I talk about it, it's going to be decluttered. I'm actually about to hit pan on champagne and I said that I was going to wait until I have like I've gone through four but I can tell you this is a really good palette. It's a great everyday one. I'm not going to declutter it yet because I want to talk about it in a video of like my favorite everyday palettes. Like if you only needed to get like in actuality, I think a person could get this and maybe one with like some pops of color or whatever and be good. Like these are great everyday palettes. Those are like to me realistic palettes for the person who likes makeup, not loves like, or is it like a makeup collector or a makeup lover. Like I love a lot of things. I like, I love palettes. I do. I love palettes. So just taking a little bit of eye cream. I should have used my Hydra Gel, but I forgot. So I like to put my eye cream and I'm going to let it sit there while I'm doing my brows. That way it sinks in. Lip balm. There's some been some brands that I have really been loving. Did I bring it in? I thought I brought it in. Oh, I did. Okay. So this is what we're going to use today. Although I already put on SPF. No, you know what? I'm like all over the place. I have been loving this Tarte BB. This is their Double Duty Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation. I have been really loving it. So I can take, what I do is I wet my sponge. I'm just going to spray it. And this is like super fast makeup, okay? It goes from cream to powder, and you can just take a wet sponge and dab it in here and just go to town. So I just take it like this, and I was able to use this as my concealer. So y'all gonna see this. Like, I'm gonna definitely come with a review on this, but I was about to declutter this, and then I started using it. So it's so good. And it blurs and it's it's comfortable you know but I'm gonna show you what I do once I get to my like I go over my eyes I don't know if you see that it's like canceling out my dark circles it's canceling out my dark circles And it's smooth, you know. I'm just going in, and it's like a cream to powder. And when you think of the cream to powder, well, it's dry, but you have to go in and go in with your sponge. And of course, you take a clean sponge. I had used it already. So that's why mine was like the way that you saw it. Do y'all see this canceling out? It's canceling out like a concealer. So it's perfect to go on the go. Just got to get the right and so smooth on the skin. Like I was about to throw this away. I don't know why I don't see people talking about this more, but it is amazing. I guess you could even use it to set. But y'all, like I that's the fastest I've ever done concealer and foundation. And then if I want to go in, like I didn't even use a primer, but if I used a primer, illuminating primer, it would like this is making it look more matte, but it would definitely look more like luminous. But I'm gonna bring some life back to my skin. Don't you worry. I'll bring some life back. Oh, but then I take a brush like this that's angled. I'll go in and I can just add more coverage to 
the concealer portion, like the concealer part. This is phenomenal. Like, this is a hidden gem for sure. And just take it and blend it. I'm gonna go around the nose. Love this, okay? Hidden gem. This is again the double duty. This is I, mine is in medium tan honey. It is the Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation. It's from their Double Duty Collection. Tarte. Okay, I see you. So what I'm gonna do, and this is another thing that I've been doing is spraying my face. Oh, let's use the Smashbox Primer Water. I want to make sure it gets all over my face. Now, my face is a little pale right now. I got this during September, so this is like when I'm starting to get pale, but don't worry. I'm going to bronze and I'm going to bring it back, okay? I'm going to bronze and bring it back. So I'm taking the Koki. This is the highlight and contour palette, and I mix the two bottom shades, and I'm going to go and just start using that and I really like the mix because it's like a bronze slash contour like I don't have to do both this is about double duty products today okay I just thought that up but you know I feel like all of us like double duty products Ooh. and I like the formulation of this I mean so this one is warmer, this is cooler, this is cooler, but mixing them, I feel like it'd just be more of my money's worth. And I don't even know how much this costs, but I bet you it's not $25 like the NYX one. Not the throwing a shade on the NYX one, because the NYX one is good. I just don't use as many products in there, which I feel like it's a waste. You know, I feel even bad. That's why I was like, either I'm gonna get something where I can use like, like using four, of the six of these I'll be good which I feel like I can do because this middle shade and this pink shade right here I use to like brighten right in the corner I like that I just feel like that this is a better suited um, palette for me I like this a lot so I'm decluttering the next one and I'm gonna replace it with this yes I think that's a good idea and then I'm still oh that's not the right one oh you know what I've been using I have been using the liquid blush by Mac but I want to use something else today like I want to use stuff that y'all haven't seen me use. I'm gonna use this uh, balance. What's this? Blush, baked blush, and brighten tropic hues. I know I haven't done my brows yet. <gasps> Let's go on with blush. This this was Santi blush brush. I just love. Let me know if y'all want to see my most used bl uh, brushes. But I love blushes that have a sheen to it. I am going on a health journey in terms of, I know a lot of people are trying keto. My husband told me about keto a long time ago. I don't know if y'all knew that my husband was a nutrition fitness worker for the community. And basically, basically, basically what he did was he would go to different grocery stores and assess how food was placed in the grocery store to influence you to how to buy it. And it was crazy because he would come back and let me know like a lot of the lower um, lower areas, lower class areas where people lived actually had junk food around the perimeter, which is where it was like strategically for you to buy versus when you go into a higher end area, they have a lot of fruits and vegetables and 
um, health things. And it's just amazing to me how um, even the environment, even the grocery store that you go to tries to influence you how to shop. So if you want to know something about that and I can bring Forrest on, let me know because that was really, really interesting. Like how to shop in the grocery store is really, really a good, I feel like it's a really good video because a lot of people don't even know how to shop at a grocery store and what to avoid. There are certain areas at the grocery store that you can avoid if in fact, I don't like how that looks. You can avoid certain areas. Y'all see me use mid I made before. Let's use Day Glow by Milani. Um, oh, that's better. Still haven't done my brows. <laughs> love this this is my perfect brush it's great for bronzer contour i can use it for bronzer contour blush i can use it for highlight this is like my multi-purpose brush hence the reason why i'm showing you in this video yeah but i think that would be an awesome video of like how to shop whether forest is on here or not i can get some notes and talk to y'all because I definitely you know I just need to do better in like my health decisions we have to take care of ourselves y'all especially us as women I feel like we don't take care of ourselves like we should we take we do take care of everybody else but we don't take care of ourselves like we're supposed to so but my husband was telling me about keto a long time ago and intermittent, intermittent fasting. And I know Makeup Shayla and Luster Lux, Katie, um, did it. And I was like, you know what? It's time. And especially when you have so much information out there. My husband was like, I told you. I told you to try it. And um, I just need, it gives me a reason. Y'all, I'm going to tell you what my weaknesses are because... Some people may not tell you they witnesses, but I'm going to tell you my food weaknesses. Sweets and bread. And what is keto? <laughs> Neither one of those. So that's why I was like, oh, uh, yeah, I need to like push myself into doing something. So maybe I can do some updates. Right now, I'm at a weight that I'm not supposed to be at. And when I say not supposed to be at, it's like, this is the weight I was when I was pregnant with Joseph. So I breastfed and then... That's why it's important to like maintain your workout routine. When I was, uh, when I had Joseph, I had to have a couple of surgeries. And so I can't, I can't because I was cut, um, my stomach, you know, muscles, those nerves and everything. I couldn't feel them for a while. Joseph is three and I'm just now getting feeling there. And it's hard to do a sit up. It, my, I would always pull those muscles and I couldn't feel them and I was always in like pain in that area. So now that I feel like that I can actually do some high impact workouts, I should have been like walking or something in the first place just to keep the weight down, but can't worry about that right now. Cause you know, when you start thinking about that type of stuff, that's when you start feeling bad and you get, you know, you could get depressed. I'm over that. I was at one point, but I was just like, you know what? I can't do anything about that now. I can't do anything about, you know, what I didn't do. And I'm going to do something about what I can do right now. So I'm not going to promise updates. I feel like I'm one of those people that just got to like shut up and do it. So a couple of the exercises I know with slimming down and toning. I'll be doing some high impact, but I'll also probably be doing some like um, Pilates and yoga because that I need my flexibility back too because I'm just not as flexible as I used to be, and that's really bothering me. I have been getting a lot of cramps, and which means that I need to drink more water. I've I've gotten up to six glasses a day. And my water bottle is really helpful in doing that. You know, I don't know. Let me know if you guys are the type that have to, 
I have to drink out of something nice to keep me from drinking water. Let's see. Um, I want to do more natural hair reviews for you guys, but I have an idea for that. And that should be coming. You'll see that in the upcoming year. I just need to, um, I, there were some reviews that I definitely wanted to push out. And so I got those out of the way. I think the upcoming ones is going to be like, so the, the series that I have is going to have a trailer like Maintenance Monday had one. So it's going to have its own introduction, I feel like, because it's something that I think I want to keep on my channel. It will it won't be one that ends. Like my top five kind of like rotates or anything, you know, everything. But uh, this is the Giorgio Armani liner. I'm going to show you guys how this looks on camera. I'm only going to put it, it's super creamy. I'm tight lining y'all. But I'm only going to put it on the end. I love this smudger, y'all. I didn't put any, I don't think, am I going to leave that naked? Yeah, I am. I'm just going to smudge it a little bit. I didn't put anything on my lid. That's what I was trying to say. Like this smudge is like really good, y'all. I got to smudge the other side. I didn't go all the way in. But it takes that color all the way in. But I think I need to... I'll... Um, I mean, this thing is so creamy. Did y'all just see that? It's so creamy, I can use my finger to smudge it. I don't know if y'all can see that. Okay. Really like that liner. Let's see. Let's go back into this and smudge it. But yeah, I want to do that. And then I need to still, I'm still decluttering y'all. I really want to cut my collection in half. I decided that, oh, let me tell you this. <coughs> so I'm renovating some things in my room, clearing out some things. Um, because uh, we downsized from a house to an apartment, like set up. And so... Um, what I'm doing now is I think I'm going to take like all of my I know I showed you guys in a um, in a video probably on my Missy Q and Missy Q memoirs channel I showed you I still haven't done my brows I showed y'all um what did I show y'all what did I show y'all oh I showed you all the, how I store my makeup so Joseph can't get in it well I have an idea of what I want to do and I think I'm going to bring in some help and hopefully I can film that if I hope that's what I want to do. So hopefully I can film that and show you guys what I want to do. But yeah, that's what the plan is. Um, and I actually want to make um, a prayer an area for prayer in my room and that like I'm gonna store my makeup away I'm just gonna use my vanity for the current things that I have rather than having like a lot of stuff out and do my project pans that way project pans will stay on my channel there are some things that's going to leave and I need to figure that out because I'm bringing in some other series that I feel like, you know, empties videos do well. Comment down below and let me know what you feel like I should keep on the channel and what doesn't necessarily need to be there. I know you'll tell me what you love. Just tell me what you love because that'll help me determine what I need to like get rid of.
but I definitely want to I'm using the boy brow no the brow the brow gal this is a brow powder that I got from BoxyCharm and I like it a whole lot I like brow powder it just looks a lot more natural on me sometimes pencils can be too much brow gal this brow powder is so smooth I don't know why a lot of people I know a lot of people are into the Kat Von D right now uh, because I have this kind of like don't want to try the Kat Von D right now I feel like I'm good when it comes to brow products and um, I know we want to try real like I think you know I know we want to try like new things but I really feel like it's easier to try new things when you have a smaller collection because you can go pick it up. If you don't like it, you can return it. And, you know, a lot of times, I mean, you can do that with a large collection, but I feel like I'm at that point where it's like, I need to use up some stuff before I like make any more purchases um, <clears throat> or switch some things out. Now I did, just recently pick up the soft glam palette, but I exchanged it for a product that I got during the semi-annual, not the semi-annual, what is what the VIB sale? It was not working for me and I'll talk about it because it's a luxury item. And so I just exchanged it and got the palette. Did I need any more palettes? No, but I knew eventually I would be getting the soft glam. So my rule is one rule, I mean one item in, one item out and because I'm I'm actually going to be decluttering my palettes so I felt like I could get it um I only spent like five dollars more than the item uh, that I had and actually I had the gift card I just couldn't find it so it was pretty much the same amount the item the item was a lip product so it was a light lip product the same amount as mine as the soft glam and they're crazy like $45 for a lip product and I felt like it wasn't worth the money and I'll, I'll talk about that and I, well I don't want to say it's not worth the money I just don't think that it's good for summer and I got a winter product in the summertime and I hope that makes sense because that's what happened but let me, I'm going to zhuzh up this. The, isn't these so cute? These are so cute. Um, let's put on some lips. Something I haven't seen me put on. Ooh, Giorgio Armani. Okay. My haul, my haul report. Like, I like this because some things you need with a liner. This is actually one that's like light that I don't need a liner with. And I still like it. It's super creamy. Spoiler alert. I like this lipstick. This is in shade 103. And yeah. That's nice. But let's amp it up. This is the CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte. Yeah. Yeah, baby. I like that. This is in the shade. Let's see. Made in England? No. <laughs> Coral Chronicles. This is the Eccentrico. I'm just using different. I think that you guys are going to like what's on the channel that's coming up because it's going to have a little spice to it. I'm going to do some things more geared towards fine thin hair and then also some things geared toward more so high porosity. I know a lot of my things are high porosity, 
but it's going to be things specific to high porosity hair. And I feel like, you know, there's things that are in general. And then there's a, there are things that we can talk about that are like specifically towards high porosity hair. So you'll see that. And then of course I want to show more declutters. You guys have been liking my makeup, like everyday makeup drawer. Yeah, I need it. I was so tempted the other day to get a NARS foundation. NARS is just, they just make really great complexion products. And I didn't get it because I have so many other foundations. And I think once I finish some foundations, then I'll get it. Just because I realize, you know, I'm learning my beauty aesthetic. I really like sheer to medium foundations. The older I get, the less makeup I want to wear. And I know I'm doing it up a little bit now, but like every day I'm using less makeup. I'll do it for camera, but. I, I'll tell you right now, I like this mascara because I've never had a mascara that separates my lashes like this and it volumizes, but I can, I'm going to tell you right now, I feel like that it doesn't lengthen them the way that I want them to be lengthened, but they separate them like crazy. So this is the final look, you guys. I kind of want to take these. I would like wear these. But let's finish off with the She Scented. This is the Papaya Blooming Curls Moisturizer. Almost gone. Which means that Empty's video is coming soon. I have a new product in my hair. Y'all, um, what do I have in my hair? Morocco oil. Is it Morocco oil? Yeah, Moroccan. Oh. Moroccan oil. Hydrating curls. I wanted to try that product for you guys. So this is what that's what I have in my hair right now. Castor oil. I just want to come with some more like education videos. I, I really like talking about like hair stuff. I like reviews, like in general, like beauty, body, skincare. I think the majority is going to be, it's going to be beauty. It's going to be hair care. It's going to be skincare and it's going to be makeup. But I think, let me know if you guys like chat, chit chat, get ready with me on my channel too. But yeah, that is it. You guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye guys.